Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nisha Dajim Kuruslan From 1-8-1-6-2-8 And my group name is Atira Binti Azimat 1-1-8-1-2-1-2 And also Nur Syamira Binti Huzaini 1-1-8-1-6-4-1 Our topic is Poor, in- poor Network Performance on Internet First, intro to the issues to address the question that poor network performance a top challenge for network engineers, right? There is simply more total traffic. There's more traffic in all directions. Without the right equipment at endpoints and midpoints along the way, it's impossible to provide the high-speed communication needed by today's application. But performance isn't just about speed. It is about reliability too. Network designs need to handle spikes in load in load and provide automate routes to enable com- to enable communication communication to continue even when a link fails. 24 hours online business, for example, if 24 online business required 24 hours network ability. Stand out stands out as one of the major factors affecting the throughput efficiency of a network bus and it can stand for a computer to cause problems that impact an entire bus. So, why we, why we choose the issues? We choose these issues because it is very close to our current situation right now. This is because in a critical season like this, businessmen especially desperately need good internet strength to continue their business, especially during day-to-day movement control orders. We already know that cases of COVID-19 in our country day by day so high, right? So, even housewife need to start their online business because their income is affected due not to be able to go out to work because of this pandemic and CMCO. In ancient schools, university have to be closed due to this pandemic, so students should attend classes online. Therefore, students need strong internet so as not to miss lessons. Slow internet connections or limited access from homes in rural areas can contribute to students falling behind academically. Objective of this topic is first in the implementation of this study, there are several objectives that we want to achieve. One of it is objectives to know more about the internet, which is what cause of poor network performance is. Through this study as well, we gain extensive knowledge and experience of access and importance of internet speeds nowadays. We will use the skills and method learned to carry out a scientific study with correct, clear and accurate procedures. The data collected is through our experience as students who rely entirely on the internet to learn and access to all websites. We also collect facts to analyze information from various authentic sources such as scientific books, newspaper, magazines, internet and others related to our title. This study will also indirectly be able to help readers in identifying internet speed problems as well as how to check them. We also benefited greatly from this study. Through this study, I was also able to instill presence, corporation and tolerance during the process of obtaining the information needed to complete this coursework. Next is Atira Binti Azimat. Hi, Assalamualaikum. I'm Atira Binti Azimat. My metric number is 1181612. Today, I would like to talk about some findings on the issue. First, malfunctioning device. Another common network performance problem is when device or hardware are not functioning properly, perhaps because they have been misconfigured or disabled. All devices on your network need to be configured correctly in order for your network to function properly. Need to test the device after install or reconfigure to ensure that it's been configured correctly. Second, network configuration error. Poor network performance stands out as one of the major factors affecting the throughput efficiency of a network path. A poorly configured network can be as a result of certain data usage, restrictions on a network port, or error which might cause retransmission on a network path. 
This will greatly slow down application and net network performance as well as limiting usability. Third, excessive bandwidth usage. At time, a connection may be slower or faster than the actual speed of the connection. There are several factors that can affect both actual and perceived speeds. It doesn't stop you from multitasking, but it can slow down your internet connection if several of these circumstances are taking place simultaneously. Causes for high bandwidth usage with any internet connection Latency, incorrect PC configuration, packet loss, audio streaming, large applications or program, large downloads, peer-to-peer -peer file sharing, unauthorized usage The last one is virus or abuse What is bandwidth? Bandwidth is measured as the amount of data that can be transferred from one point to another within a network in a specific amount of time. Uh, typically, bandwidth is expressed as a bitrate and measured in bits per second. Bandwidth can be compared to water flowing through a pipe. Bandwidth would be the rate at which water, which is data flow through the pipe which is the connection under various circumstances. 5. Observation or insight about the finding The first one, malfunctioning device. Vendors continue to offer innovative ways to maintain, upgrade and adapt their hardware and software as the need arise. Silo Tools are useful for monitoring one segment, domain, or topology of the network. But seeing across the entire network regardless of shifting topology can simplify network monitoring workflows and significantly improve team productivity. The second network configuration error. Poor network performance stands out as one of the major factors affecting the throughput efficiency of a network path. A poorly configured network can be as a result of certain data usage, restrictions on a network port, or error which might cause retransmission on a network path. This will greatly slow down application and network performance as well as limiting usability. The last one is poor capacity planning results in insufficient bandwidth. Bandwidth issue can crop up anywhere within the network and network administrators need to know where the dangers lie in order to plan accordingly. Additionally, this report must be run at repeating intervals in order to track historical trends. Being able to view a historical playback of bandwidth usage can also help in understanding unusual spikes or dips in traffic. The last one is communication throughout the organization helps with understanding where the business and its IT is hidden. This contributes to IT being a key stakeholder in ensuring the future and strategic success of the organization. That's all from me. We continue with Shamira. Bye-bye. Without wasting our time, I'm No Shamira Binti Huzaini. My metric number 118641. I would like to share the suggestion and advice to others about how to solve this problem. So, the suggestion is how to improve the network performance on internet. The first thing first, provide a different network forecast. Having too many users on a network cause the internet performance will tend slowly. In comparison, poor network performance can be 
a result of having too many users on a network in the same time. In addition, having one or two guests at the same time might not be a cause for slow performance, but when it's an enterprise that has up to a hundred and above guests at any given hour, that will most likely uh, be a cause of network, network slowdowns. So, creating guest networks is important in limiting the chance of having slow networks and network security risk. Overall, there will be an improved network performance as all tasks are completed at faster rates without experiencing unnecessary glitches. The second one is use VLANs to segment low priority traffic. What the meaning of VLANs? VLANs is virtual local area networks are an excellent way to partition the network resources such that the most critical traffic receives the highest priority. Essentially, a VLAN offers the benefits of a completely separate network without having to rewire the entire office. Furthermore, VLANs can also uh, improve security by segmenting our system from each other. That way, even if one part of the network becomes compromised, the VLAN can act as a barrier keeping other parts of the network safe. Furthermore, VLANs improve network performance by separating large broadcast domains into smaller ones. If a device in one VLAN sends a broadcast Ethernet frame, all devices in the VLAN receive the frame, but, uh, desire, but device in other VLANs do not. So, the VLANs can also enable the implementation of access and security policies according to specific groupings of the users. The third is do the necessary updates and upgrades. The technology is nothing ever the same for long. Technology will always be changes and will and we will need to keep up with it if we want to stay relevant and more productive. In addition, if we want network was function optimally, all company software and firmware involved with uh, need to be updated. A software that was relevant six years ago and above without the occasional release of new updates become a pattern in the network system and to our productivity as well. Software updates can fix uh, software deficien deficiencies in previous versions so our desktop PC or laptop will get protection from all threats posed by malware and other virus. So, uh, to solve from uh, the update in component software and firmware, the focus could be laid on the upgrading the network is itself. The last one is monitoring tools. Monitoring tools provide detailed insight and analysis on the causes of network errors and where they are located, thereby uh, eliminating the downtime experience while trying to find the source of errors. So, mostly structured to proactively provide information on the health of a network for use by network engineers, monitoring tools can go as far as trouble shooting certain er errors if automated to do so. The solution is using live and X to enhance network performance. Depending on company needs, live and X can be integrated with other solutions such as live wire to significantly improve the network performance. So live and X is the NPM tool is an industry leader in network performance monitoring and management proactively monitoring activities across an entire network to provide uh, the insight, insight into the nature of traffic in the network, network of their sources. The conclusion is the poor of network performance must be solved it immediately. The network slowdowns can also be the result of different network components growing old and defective. To solve this problem, we can upgrade the network 
the network fiber internet with a new one wired connection smooth, could smooth over the greater delays. Not only that, the network performance can be measured at various levels by implementing in various ways using various tools. Finally, the network performance management consists of monitoring uh, performance, throughput, and load on both the network itself and on the resources running on that network. The collective techniques enable, manage, and ensure optimal performance levels of a network. So that's all, that's all from us. Thank you.